Today is Saturday, November 4th. Unfortunately, this is our last day aboard the Harmony of the Seas, but it is a beautiful, sunny day. The weather is just perfect. A wonderful breeze. You can lay out on the, roof, or on the pool deck if you wanted to, uh, but we have uh, breakfast in the main dining room plan for today and hoping to enjoy the last bit of Harmony of the Seas before we're kicked off. Well, they made the bagel and lox better than I made it the other day. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Uh, the breakfast arrived and I got a breakfast burrito with a side of bacon, hash brown. Claire got her gluten-free hash brown that's been waiting for. And an omelet, veggie omelet. Uh, ham, spinach, mushroom, and onion. Charlene got a classic breakfast. It's like, it doesn't That's matter. Express breakfast. Express. Justin got an omelet too with hash brown and sausage and chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. All right, Michael has his harness on. He's getting his instructions. Moving on to the helmet. Oh, you're good. Good to go. Thank you. Third in line. Your first time? On the ship, but I've, yeah. Is he flying in the land? I have. In the forest? Yes. So the blue box, pull up your legs and step on the blue box, sir. Okay. okay. Number two here. Step down, number three here, and sit down to your harness. Alright. Ready? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that was a fun activity to do right after breakfast, zip line. But look how, I mean, what'd you say? It was eight stories? Eight decks above the board, eight overlooking decks. the boardwalk. Yeah. It's pretty cool, but I didn't, you know what? I didn't even really notice it. For a zip line, it seemed pretty slow. It didn't seem like a, a fast pace. Yeah, it, I mean, it really was. It wasn't too fast at all. Um, the line seemed pretty flat. So, yeah. Did you feel the ship at all? No, not at all. Not. I mean, I didn't notice it. I just. And it, granted, we're not really moving, but you're just. It, you're <laughs> you're you're on deck 15 when you start, so it's up there. It's cool. I mean, it is worth it. It's pretty legit. The crew is. Um, they're they're they really know what they're doing in terms of being safe. Oh yeah, I'm sure and moving certain carabiners over and everything so it was it was really good and it does move even the line was short um it moves still pretty quick so looks like they get uh in and out of there pretty quickly or at least all the people so definitely worth it definitely worth, worth doing an it. included experience <laughs> as an included experience yes and i thought this was that was a lot cooler than the uh ultimate abyss slide okay so uh, if you're looking more for more of a thrill do the yeah zip line. yeah out of the thrill type things if you will on a cruise ship definitely the zip line is is probably on the top okay so it was fun though very fun from me zip lining to clara play trivia it's a thrilling day <laughs> Total opposite. <laughs> uh, zip lining is cool, though. What'd you oh, say? I said zip lining is cool. Yeah, I'm glad you got to do that. Yeah. I don't even know what trivia you're doing. Brain teaser? Yeah, I'm not going to be very good at it. We'll see. This is the trivia that we're having to do. Brain teaser. Brain teaser, sorry. Oh, that was a difficult trivia today. We got 10 out of 20. We did get the bee's eyes correct. That's five. five. How many eyes does a bee have? We've had that question before. It's five. And then two and a half miles. 2.4 miles from Russia. America to Russia. Is wow. that what it yeah, was? Yeah. Um, Either way, we almost won. Yeah, we were one short of winning, or at least tying. Maybe we'll have better luck in the casino. <laughs> <laughs> God, what was that laugh? 
That doesn't sound promising. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna find something we don't wanna find. Oh, as expected. Hey, what is that? What's that cruise certificate? I knew I got an instant cruise certificate. We have to go to um, next cruise. Are you saying I blew all my money for nothing? <laughs> oh, it's only $100 off. Oh, but Dang still, it. we have our luggage tags. <laughs> That's sad, as always. Well, this is uh, actually more sad than the tags. Is this a very revealing situation? <laughs> I turn the corner and all of a sudden, all these clothes are spread out. <laughs> I organize everything into their appropriate laundry section or category so that when I get home, I can just dump the individual bag into the laundry. I still don't understand how all that fits into a carry-on. <laughs> well, I also have a like a carry-on bag. Like it's not wheeled. It's more yeah. like a a bag with a strap. I got too. So a lot of people wondering what luggage we use. We use the away luggage. Yeah, with the amount of travel that we do, it just has nice features that make the uh, price tag worth it. And the quality holds up pretty well too. Yeah, yeah. So overall really nice um, luggage and but yeah, even the little, um, what are those little bags that wear across our body? Like everyone has a Lulu ones. The fanny packs that are yeah. fanny packs. Yeah. The modern day fanny pack. Yeah. We just recently picked some up from away. They're pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, this looks sad. Guess mine's up right here in the first queue. We had to try this again. This is cool. Look at that. It's cool that it has the dispenses from the top, like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, and then it automatically pulls the shop back out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Right. Nice. Guess mine's done. See? And it says mine's ready in station six, I guess. Fusion. <laughs> it's a little fruity drink. It's kind of weird. Is there coconut yeah. Malibu in there? Not sure how you go from the bionic bar to get an alcoholic <laughs> beverage and then walk on the track. Doesn't make any sense. Ooh, check this out. Jeez, it's beautiful. The one thing that bothers me about this sh class ship is that there's hardly any windows. So look outside. You have to actually go outside and what are we, deck five? Yes. Huh. Well, that's ironic. Kind of just ended up at the Bionic Bar. <laughs> and no, we didn't go all the way around. Maybe halfway. Oh, you know what we haven't said? Is that as of yesterday, we earned enough points to be Diamond of Royal Caribbean. Oh, yeah. As of last night? Yeah. yeah. So the uh, benefits won't kick in until our next Royal Caribbean cruise, but definitely excited to be Diamond. Yep, yep, yep. And after a short little walk, pizza time. <laughs> it's well. like not, it's like a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> I got our pizza. <laughs> I have to go get mine now. That it took is, like 15 minutes. So I feel like usually we're told five to six minutes. And I mean, it is a busy time, but they told us 10 minutes and so like, eight minutes to go. I was like, oh, let me just go over there. They're like, yeah, it's not ready. So, <laughs> so I gave them a few more minutes. Yay, got mine. 
How's yours? Hot. <laughs> Looks hot. It's very bendy. Very bendy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's crowded here though. It's good though. The crust is decent. It's it just you have to use like two hands and make sure you <laughs> fish it into your mouth. <laughs> Again, two days in a row we don't get to see the end of I don't even know what this is called. Uh, love at sea, I believe. Um, I did catch the very beginning, um, unlike yesterday, and it said it was a Hallmark production, which by no means is surprising. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was actually pretty cool that it actually was a Hallmark production. Ah. If you know Hallmark movies, this fits the bill. Yeah, we missed it yesterday. Miss it again today. I'm trying to catch a production show. Yeah. Columbus or something. We love cheesy rom-coms. I mean. <sighs> <laughs> oh well, that's cruising another royal. Let's oh. figure out the end. Darn. It's first time in the Royal Theater for us on this ship. We've never sat this close. No, we definitely have not. We haven't even sat in this section before. When Charlene sent me the text where they're at, I was like, are you serious? It's close. <laughs> We're like on the third row. But this show is full. I can't believe how packed. I've never seen a Royal Theater this full. Yeah, this is full. So hopefully it's good. They're saying it's well, good. Well, I guess maybe today's the only day they're showing this. I have no idea. Because they have been doing Grease. So this might be the first showing never, of this. Never heard of it. So we'll see. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing our Columbus, the, show, the musical. The musical. Not what either of us expected whatsoever. Spoiler alert, it's not about Christopher Columbus, <laughs> like we thought. Um, very much a parody show that we very much enjoyed. The cast was top notch, and it really felt like they enjoyed performing the show. They were, they, it felt like they could be almost themselves and kind of goof off a little bit. Yeah. There was one part of the show that they were having technical difficulties and there was a little bit of improv going on. So it was just really, I mean, there's just a lot of fun things to see. They had a good com camaraderie between the cats. And purposely not going to put any clips of it because you have to see it for yourself. It's so good. I'm gonna, it's really good. I'll see it every time I'm on this show. Oh, yeah. It's so good. But you already said it, but the cast was amazing. Yes. In fact, one, Top of, the, notch. one of the girls. <laughs> I was like watching and listening to her, but she was reminded us, um, I guess we, during that technical difficulty section, yeah. we were like, oh my gosh, that person looks like Carrie from Views and Cues. <laughs> they look exactly, they're, they're, it's doppelganger. It's like, yes, it's exact same person, yeah. same same voice. Um, and she was in the musical too, in high school mm -hmm. apparently. So, yeah. so we thought it that was, was really funny. good. So yeah, you gotta see it. Um, go in there with an open mind and uh, I, I think you'd really enjoy it. Yeah, it was really good. Our last dinner in the main dining room. So I got Caesar salad, Charlene got Caesar salad, Justin got Caesar salad, and then what'd you get? Beef carpaccio. Beef carpaccio. Which I've already dug into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dinner's here. Got chicken parmesan. I think Charlene got chicken parmesan too, right? Yep. And then you got just got steak, steak, but he's trying medium for the first time. <laughs> Usually it's well done, it's so odd. And then what, you got something pretty good. Mushroom risotto. Mushroom risotto, which is pretty good. But Italian knife, obviously, that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's not long No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, and finally dessert's here. And I got the Italian chocolate hazelnut cake. Charlene got the no sugar added coffee pot de creme. The kid over here got the <laughs> vanilla ice cream and strawberry ice cream. And then Claire got, what is this? The vegan option, the crumbly oat and berry bar. Yeah, last dessert. Let's see. Let's see. We, what, what lights? I forgot to turn on the lights. We have a third towel is animal stingray? on a four night cruise. Stingray. The good stingray. I'm pretty sure. What is this? Oh, yeah, we go back in time. Tonight. Oh, we get an extra hour on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Forgot about that. Yeah. So we fall back tonight. Yeah. Daylight savings. Yes. Aqua show, take two. Our rescheduled. This should be a better chance of being a go. Yeah. We have not been feeling this ship that much since like two this afternoon. And the weather's nice. Yeah. Not windy. Yeah. I'm excited. I love this. Those packs. Freaking people everywhere. I can't say for certain, but I think they're packing in two rescheduled Wait. shows into one show at 8 p.m. and then two rescheduled shows at 10 p.m. <laughs> I think this is the first night that they've been able to safely perform this. Man, this is crazy. So hopefully there's big applauses for these performers. Yeah. So we just got out of the Fine Line Aqua Theater performance and oh my goodness, those Aqua Theater performances are just so good. This one um, was a little bit different than the one that we saw on uh, Lord of the Seas because it had tightrope walkers. I don't remember seeing those on Lord of the Seas. And so they had them like pretty close to the Aqua Theater pool and then there's a tightrope walker that went 55 feet above the deck, and I think it said 107 feet above sea level. He was like way above the crowd. It was so <laughs> crazy. And of course, the high divers, I mean, it's just such a fun experience. And then we sat right next to, I don't know what you call the it's other like a person. staging area for, for the, har there was a lot of harnesses um, so that the, the performers can, could be suspended above the crowd and then go to the stage and they pull back. And so we were right next to a staging area for that. So that was kind of a cool experience too. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah. Every production that we've seen on this ship has been just it's insane. Been 10 out of 10, just top Yeah, notch. for sure. For sure. Definitely worth seeing all of them. Oh yeah, and we we didn't go to Greece because we saw Greece on Independence of the Seas, but we're kind of wishing we would have saw, saw Greece again. So. Yeah, because that cast was really good. Yeah. So yeah, definitely see them. They, these shows get crowded. Oh well, and I think like we were saying before, it, this is possibly two nights combined into one night because yeah. of how rough the season been. There's no way that that tightrope walker could have gone 107 feet above sea level on a yeah day like we were having with oh, some no. seas. No, that was crazy. <laughs> well, that was cool. Check out these chocolate martinis. All right. Samuel hooked it up. However, we have one that says Taylor. <laughs> Check it out. 
Taylor on the first one. Fixed it. Yes. Yeah. 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 But now Claire's drinking Taylor. Country line dancing downstairs. We were curious if they did this in Miami. Oh yeah, we need to ask. Well, folks, this is the sad time of the cruise when you see luggage lined up in the hallway. Oh, super sad. They're all over the place. This is actually a lot more luggage than we've seen in the past. Well, another cruise has come and gone. <laughs> it was quick. It Four was nights. quick. Four nights. Beautiful Harmony of the Seas. Really loved uh, sailing on her and mm -hmm. hope we get the opportunity to sail on her again while she's in Galveston. Yeah, we got lucky with this being a four night and after to after this cruise, I guess we'll be a seven night. So, but you know, is what it is. We uh, got lucky this year though, sailing on several nice ships. Yeah. Actually, only three. Three. We went on four cruises, but two of them were the same. So, yeah. but with the lure of Voyage of the Seas and not now Harmony of the Seas, it's been a, it's been a good year. Yeah. But um, one thing I'll say about Royal Caribbean, um, and not just this ship, but the crew is, uh, it's been amazing. Yeah. We um, always make a special connection with the crew, so it's. It's always nice to yeah. come on board and know that you're going to meet someone new. Yeah, so on this particular one, Samuel at the, that we met at the schooner bar. Um, <laughs> had some good memories with, with Samuel, um, especially getting Claire's name wrong. So a funny <laughs> anecdote. We ordered chocolate martinis. And um, right before us, somebody had ordered a chocolate martini and Samuel had done a really pretty like, flower on uh, with the chocolate, the chocolate syrup. And so Michael goes, oh, let's order two of those. So that's that okay. Thinking that we're gonna get a flower or something pretty basic. No, Samuel writes Michael on his martini. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. It fit perfectly, it was amazing. And mine said Taylor. <laughs> and I didn't want to say anything. I'm a pretty shy person. Don't want to call anybody out. Don't want to embarrass anybody. And so he, after that, he scanned my card and he goes, "You're not Taylor." <laughs> He's like, "I don't even know where I got that name." <laughs> so I got another chocolate martini, and hopefully you can put the picture. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very sweet. And he took pictures <laughs> of it and of us and with him. Yeah. So he's like, now we got to redo it. <laughs> but no, all good fun. Um, but yeah, that was obviously one of the one of the big connections that we had. Yeah. Um, with uh, one of the crew members on this ship, and then C yeah, Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. Yeah. That we've cruised with now. What this is the fourth time. <laughs> yeah, third time this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so that yeah. was good. Always love meeting new crew members. But with that, that is our last vlog of the year. Mm -hmm. And we're, we've got next year pretty much booked out. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. Well, it's they're booked. Yeah. For what we have right now. And we can't wait to see you guys in the next one. <laughs>